guys, welcome back to Coaching Rules and in today's video, I'm going to have a topic for you guys, it's very interesting, I think uh, everybody has definitely felt like this or have been, have been definitely been stuck is the easiest way to put it and I think this video should help some others, including myself, so yeah, let's get straight into this. So, comfort zone is something that uh, I think everybody goes through, everybody goes through it no matter what, I think the comfort zone is probably... You know, uh, it's not so, it's not so much of bad, a really, well, it can be a really bad place to be in, but at the same time, um, there's nothing wrong with just a, having a little bit of comfort. But of course, the, there are ways to get out of it, and of course, there are ways to even like help yourself. Like you know, maybe even you know, if you can't do maybe one step, you can try another step to help you get out of that comfort zone. So I ask this question like, um, have you ever stepped out of your comfort zone? Um, I know I have, and I know there's times that I haven't. And I can definitely say that stepping out of it is probably the better thing to do than not doing it. And I think uh, you kind of like reflect on it. It kind of reflects badly on yourself in a way because you just want to stay there in the same place. And I think it's kind of like a knock to yourself and to anybody that kind of believes in you that you know you want to stay in this place. Well, why can't you know you boost yourself out of it? And um, of course, it is, it's hard to do. And I think um, a lot of people, you know, find it easier just to stay in that comfort zone, to just stay in the zone and not really think about, oh, well, what could it do? Because it could, it could happen with anything. It could, be, it, could do, it could be to do with work. It could be to do with your fitness. It could do with your things on the court. And that's just how it is. It is a part of life. I think uh, a way of dealing with getting out of your comfort zone is working out what the problem is and trying to excel from the uh, bad hump basically just just basically trying to you know, find a solution now there's different ways because it could be different things and, and, and again it depends on the actual environment or the type of mindset you're in as well so let's say for example you know you're going to work and let's say for example you know you start work at night but then you're waking up at eight o'clock and you you know obviously it takes you what like maybe what 45 minutes to get to work but still you have no time to relax and whatever so you want to leave earlier but you don't you still wake up at flipping let's say what i don't know like 7 7 7 45 you know you're not giving yourself enough time to prep and whatnot and if you keep getting into that that like, habit you're gonna end up being late for work and it happens you know what i'm saying i'm sure this has happened to myself and i'm sure it's happened to others out there so it's just one of those things that um it kind of, you know, it, it does reflect badly on yourself. And of course, in, a, in terms of basketball, let's say, for example, you know, you have a weaker hand and you're not developing it, that's your comfort zone. And again, you know, you're not really, uh, it looks bad on the coach, it looks bad on your teammates, you know, because again, you're supposed to be working with these elements uh, outside and inside the court, of course. Make it a strength of yours, okay? So if you have a weak hand in basketball, Make it a strength. If you're waking up late for work, wake up early or make it a strength of yours. Okay? And um, sometimes finding out the reason why is a good way to understand how you got comfortable. Why did you get comfortable? You know? What was the reason why? I mean, if you've been going, let's say, gym or training for a good couple of months and then all of a sudden you stop, what was it? Because of uh, uh, the environment, maybe if things at home, things affecting your mental, other stuff. Was it just the the going every day, the daily push of just going to train or whatever. And again, like certain things can be factors in the comfort zone as well. And I think people do need to understand that as well. So once you work on certain outside factors, you can actually work on that comfort to make it somewhat, you know, just uncomfortable for yourself. So you know that, no, I need to go through this so I can, it's not a, a bad habit basically. And just remember that um, there is more than one way to tackle uh, com your comfort zone. There's definitely more than one way. There's so many different ways, so many different solutions. It doesn't have to be, oh, you know, um, left hand dribbling only to increase your left hand uh, left hand dribble. It's like, no, there's diff many different ways. Of course, dribbling, yes, that is the main structure of basketball. And yes, that is going to improve, obviously, your left hand dribbling. But of course, there's different ways to dribble. And of course, and that's something you just have to either learn by yourself or with your coaches with your teams or whatever but it's just things like that guys don't look at things so narrow look at that from a view where it's just open i think the hardest part of um coming out of your comfort zone is that the, sometimes you don't know what the 
what the solution, what the, what the, where, where it stemmed from, or what happened, and why it happened. But then there's also a side of it where it's like you do know, but you just don't want to come out of it. So um, I think it's a little bit easier if it's if you if you don't know because even if you don't know, you can be like, okay, think back for a few weeks back. What did I change? What did I do? Did I do anything differently, or could it have been yesterday? That's what it was. Whereas if you do know, it's like, oh yeah, I know I'm doing this. I know I'm doing that. I know I'm con consistently not going to gym because I don't want to, and there's no valid reason. I'm just staying at home. Of course, <laughs> there's a reason, you know, and that's the reason. But the fact that you're still doing it, just it's only going to hurt yourself even more. So yeah, guys, just try and balance it out. And if you do get uncomfortable, remember, just take a step back and relax. There's nothing wrong with taking a break from anything including myself, there's nothing wrong with taking a break from anything. But just remember, don't do it for too long where that comfort just builds up. And then it's hard for you to kind of get back into the mojo of things. Definitely is really hard. But yeah, guys, that's going to be pretty much it for the video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, follow my social medias down below, and I'll see you next time. Peace.